Well, was there like a friendly competition? Were you guys friends back then? No, I hated him. <laughs> Couldn't stand him. Wow, this is a big treat for me because y you guys are, are part of the reason why I'm, I'm a huge comic book fan. Uh, and you guys were here to honor the memory of another comic book great, Jack Kirby. Well, thank you for saying Love another you. comic book great. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was almost worth coming for. I have worked yeah. on there. You guys had a chance to interact with him briefly when you guys were in the business, correct? Well, I met him twice and we, we both had a similar experience of talking to him and not remembering anything he said because we were both... Total fanboy moment, you guys were just... Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I was Kirby. amazed the first time I met him because he was this little guy. You know, and I, I was going, where do you keep it all, for God's sake? <laughs> all this cosmic hoo-ha, and he's... Are you able to pick a, a favorite Jack Kirby creation or story run? If I take one story, Fantastic Four, 51, This Man, This Monster, a one-shot story, doesn't continue, it shows all the Fantastic Four, all their characters, how they react to situations outside their control, and the fact that they're able to bring their example is so good, it brings heroism and nobility to a guy who did not start with in the beginning of the story. And as short as the story is, we've got 20 pages, 22, whatever 22. they were then, it's just, it's very moving, beautifully drawn, well written, it's a great story. You guys both stood on the, on the shoulders of two of Kirby's great creations, Fantastic Four and Thor. Was the specter of, of Jack Kirby hanging over you, or, or were you just in such a zone there. Not, 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 not the specter. I was, I said on the panel earlier today that when I was handed the Fantastic Four, it was a little bit like saying, I've never done drugs before. I think I'll start with heroin. You know, just <laughs> bam, into the deep end, right? But after maybe, I don't know, about 10 issues, I kind of worked my way into it. But Kirby was always like a guiding force, not a, nothing I was scared of. Also at the time, I mean, when I did Thor, I've been, I've been in comics about 11 years when I got Thor to do. And I did all my kind of Jack Kirby tropes, the big stuff and giant cosmic things. And so when I got to do it again in 83 and write it, I had all this stuff out of my system. I could still be inspired by Jack, but I didn't feel I had to be Jack, you know, as I said in the panel, as if I had any chance yeah. of being Jack. Back then, you guys were, were competitors on the, on the newsstand because you guys were handling you know, some of the top books, Thor, Fantastic Four, right before that, you were doing X-Men, and you, you launched Alpha Flight. Was there like a friendly competition? Were you guys friends back then? No, I hated him. <laughs> Couldn't stand him. Couldn't Every stand time him. I see John, he goes, yes, and I, I am younger than you. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks. So, Come on, you guys didn't, just, well, you, you guys couldn't email a sales figure, but did you like fax no, or but, send a letter? Well, look, I beat you this month on the newsstand. Yeah, Walton Weezy took me out to dinner when I was, you know, a little kid. And <laughs> I sat there, and I finally said, I, I have to say, I am so nervous sitting here with Walt Simonson and, and Louise Jones, as it was then. And Wheezy said, but we're here with John Byrne. That was one of the great moments of my life. What's the secret to, to making the Fantastic Four work? Because you know this as well as anyone. Marvel's first family hasn't been Marvel's first family That's exactly for, right. for a long time. And i like to ask you that, this question because you had such a great run on it. What is the secret to making the Fantastic Four work as a comic that people keep missing? Well, I think it's more a question of what they do wrong. I remember one of the big mucky mucks at Marvel saying in an interview, the Fantastic Four was Marvel's original dysfunctional family. You know, they have really? little rows and whatnot. That was the... Yeah. That was his definition. They're Marvel's original dysfunctional family. I should hide family. my expression, will you? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, no, no, they're not dysfunctional. And like any family, you know, they have spats, they have fights, but it's not, it's not tearing themselves apart. You know, they get along. They like each other. Gentlemen, this has been a great pleasure. Thank you guys so yes, much for, for talking with me. Well, thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks a lot.